All right, just had our breakfast for dinner and our Kodiak cakes. So I figured this would be time to try this Guinness Nitro Cold Brew. Ooh. It is beer and coffee and natural flavors. Oh, so yes. I had this coffee beer thing concoction for PAPS a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I don't know. And uh, it was interesting. It was more like, uh, it didn't even taste there was any alcohol in it, but it was a malt beverage, not really a beer, I was guess. It milky? Yeah, it was milky. Yeah. So this is going to be 4% alcohol by volume, and the website says the whole can is uh, 141 calories. That's, that's not too bad for, you know, a, a 16, well, 14.9 ounces. So it's not a full 16 ouncer. Uh, oh, well, hold on. 114 calories for 12 ounces. I mean, come on. For the extra 2.9 ounces, they just should have they just should have amended the serving facts on here, the nutritional facts. That just seems ridiculous. All right, so this is uh, imported by Diego Beer. What? I thought Guinness was from Ireland. D I A G E O. Sounds like it's from Mexico, like Diego. Let's go. What the hell is going? All right, well, ooh, all right. Hopefully you didn't have a, oh. Watch out. We're having a volcano. Almost had another fail, but I saved it. Not too bad. Mm. All right, it does have the ball in here. I can hear it rattling around in there, like a Guinness typically does. So, gonna give it a whirl. Yeah, it's gonna, oh, it, it's milky. Do you think it's just because of the pop, because of the nitro? Um, oh, yeah, it's yeah. coming out a little. Okay. All right, so it is coming out. Oh, it's... Uh, it's it's going to cascade for a while. Yeah. It might Ooh. be a hot minute before you can really see it. It is doing the cascade. Yeah, it is doing the cascade. Hold on, look at this. All right, so I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Yeah, you can a little bit. Yep, you can see it slowly. There was this together. dude doing a pint of Guinness. I don't know what the hell he did, but he put it he put it in the glass, and then he flicked it or something, and it did the cascade thing. It was pretty wild. Mm. Uh, no, he poured it out, and then he put it in a jewelry, uh, the thing that vibrates and cleans your jewelry. Oh. Put it in there for a second, and, and it cascaded. It was it was amazing. I don't know what the hell he was doing, but it was pretty awesome. All right, it's got a good thick head on it, and it looks like a Guinness now. It looks so, really nice. And it's got a good coffee scent to it. Smell that shit. It smells like dark roast. That's got some serious coffee smell. This is already better than the Paps. All right. That's pretty good. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely beer. You definitely taste the Guinness in this one. But it's got a good coffee, kind of a rich, kind of... You know what it tastes like? Starbucks has a cold brew coffee that is very similar, yes. minus the Guinness. They do have a nitro... Yeah, nitro coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it looks very similar to this. And it the I hate mouthfeel, but the mouthfeel is is what it is. That's pretty good. Hey, all right, definitely better than the Paps. Uh, if you're looking for something interesting, you like Guinness, you like a little coffee. I don't know how much coffee is actually in this. Um, it doesn't really say. So, one point one grams of protein. It's damn near a protein shake. I don't know if on the website it says how much coffee is actually brewed into this. Uh, nitro cold brew. No, I don't know. But that is very good. I mean, got the coffee scent. It definitely has the coffee flavor on the back end, but it, it is like you're drinking a Guinness. Oh, that is excellent. All right, hey, that's a winner. Definitely better than the Paps. It's got the ball in there. All right, sweet. Well, that's a winner. All right. I'm going to finish this. Maybe I'll have a little dessert. We'll get you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.